What's good? Okay. We're on. So I've done this video like four times. So let's not even, we're going to let's get it and we're going to let's go right now. Okay. This video is about itchy scalp. Okay. Um, many people have, uh, after they get their braids, they go through like one to three days of like it's torment and it's can be tormenting. Um, itchy scalpness, tormenting itchy scalpness. And that's a thing that I just said that I made up right now. So it's a thing. Um, and, uh, if you watch my video link, boom. Yeah. That one. If you watch my shampooing, my scalp video, uh, washing my hair, um, I tell you that I'm washing my hair because my scalp is doing something very different that it's ever done than it has ever done before. It's like really itching. It's like, this is a problem type situation. I've washed my hair like three times since then. So I've washed my hair a total of four times and it's not even the third week of May. Um, so let me tell you what I did to combat that, to kill it, because it's a thing that you should kill. What I didn't know and what I should have known and what I should have known years ago um, is that you, obviously your scalp is part of your skin. It's a living, breathing organ, right? Just like you can get an infection here, you can get an infection in your scalp. It's a thing. I don't know why it never crossed my mind. Like, that's kind of sad. I know. Don't talk about me. I'm learning. I'm growing. I'm still doing things, right? So anyway, I um, was like, there, something's not right. After I washed my hair, it got worse. It got sore. Not just itchy. It got sore. So I decided um, that next day, like, okay, no, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, what I can't do is live like this. And it felt like it got worse when I tied my hair up. So it was like, I knew it was something about, it was about my scalp. Like it couldn't breathe. So it was screaming because there's a problem. So I took my fabulous um, clarifying shampoo. Where are we at? Bad out. Okay, a cure and it's lemongrass and something, argan stem cell, everyday clarifying. They don't pay me. None of this stuff. I bought all of this stuff. Ain't nobody promised me nothing. This is mine, this has been mine. I've been, it, my, it's my coin, my Bitcoin, all of my coin. Okay, I put that about a half, mm, one and a half ounces of that in this with some of my dream tree water that I have all the time, not this particular one, um, but some dream tree, uh, purified water, get you some purified water. Dream tree is the bomb. Get you some alkaline water. That's what I'm saying to you. That's what I put in here. Alkaline water. Um, and I threw inside that, I put in Melaleuca, which is also known as tea tree oil, but the correct name is Melaleuca. Work with me, camera. Mm. Okay, well, whatever. You see it. There it goes. Boom. Melaleuca. Peppermint. Yes, ma'am. And rosemary. Okay. Rosemary. I put those. Um, and did I put lemon in there? I did not. Not in that. Um, I put that in my hair. Braided and banded my hair squirted that all in, made sure I gave myself a really good massage. Like that's a thing that you should do. You should take that your time. Don't wash your hair when you're in a rush. One, don't wash your hair at night. Don't wash your hair when you're in a rush. Things I learned, take it, take the advice. It's for free. I'm giving you good advice. Do not wash your hair at night and don't wash your hair when you're in a rush. Um, and then after I massaged that in for a while, I got some apple cider vinegar. Don't skimp. Okay, get you some apple cider vinegar Apple cider vinegar that has the mother in it. I don't use Bragg's. I use a different brand, but you could use whatever you have. As long as it has the mother in it, baby, good. It's still alive. So that's what you want. You want the enzymes. You want that in your scalp. I put about two tablespoons um, just straight up. I didn't pour it in a bottle. I just got the spoons and went, to, went all over my head. Boom, boom. Put a... Um, Wrapped up my hair, wrapped up my hair, put it in a shower cap and sat in, let it sit on my scalp for about, 
I don't know, 30 minutes. And then I rinsed that out and I took my time rinsing my hair. I didn't agitate the hair. I did lift each plait and let my water run through it and didn't rush that. I, I waited and I think maybe it was like a 30, 40 minute shower. I was not playing. This is my scalp. So um, got out and when I got out, I could touch my scalp and it wasn't on fire anymore. Um, the entire left side of my head felt so much better. And so that was great. I had some spots on the right side of my head. I'm going to get this right together, y'all. Um, I had some spots on the right side of my head that still had um, some tenderness and some itching, but it was not on fire. And I didn't want to like smack myself from touching it. So what I did the next day was um, put in my handy dandy trustees. Rose water that I have used for forever. This is the particular my particular brand, my favorite brand that I've used for years. It's going to focus. There we go. Boom. Okay. And then lavender water, which you guys know is a new thing to me, um, but it's my, with my same brand that I use. And um, inside that, I added Frank. Oh, well, I put them inside my uh, indigo bottle. You should always use, if you're using pure... Um, essential oils you need to keep them like these come in amber bottles they should all come in amber or indigo dark bottles um, because letting the light get through oxidizes them quickly so you want to not put stuff in clear bottles or plastic bottles um, and if you can find sprayers that are metal or glass you should use those as well but that's why I only use a little bit so that it doesn't have time to oxidize that quickly. So, cause I have a plastic sprayer, not a bottle. Um, so I put lemon, frankincense, rosemary and melaleuca in here with lavender and rose water. I was just trying to make sure I remembered all of it. The only thing I didn't put in this one, which I put in the shampoo was peppermint. Cause I just didn't think that I wanted peppermint in my scalp. Like I felt like that was a little harsh. I just want to smell it right now. That's all. Um, but I could be wrong. Peppermint might be cool to just leave on your scalp. I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I have enough oil of these oils that combat, um, that are antimicrobial, that are antibacterial, that are antifungal um, in here. Rosemary, uh, antifungal, and also is good with your hair. Oh, and lavender um, oil. I did put lavender essential oil in um, this this particular bottle as well. Um, lemon is a good, uh, I use that for, I use lemon and melaleuca to clean my house. So, and vinegar. So those are things that, um, I know are good with astringents and, um, astringent and what's the other word? Astringent and something else. Anyway, that's what, why I picked these particular oils to use. Um, after I did that, my scalp, I'm able to touch it. Like, no joke. I Like, if I was doing this now, I'd be like, oh, because it's so, it was so tender and it was so on fire. Um, takeaways that you should do, that you should take with you and listen. Heed my, heed my call for you. Make sure that you stay out of your hair. If you cannot stay out of your hair, please wash your hands, get under your nails, because you, like, you may miss something, and you could leave it in your scalp. And if you do not have a healthy scalp, you do not have hair. And I don't know why you paid all this money to get this if you're not going to have no hair on your head. Like, I, why would you do that? You want to watch your locks fall off one at a time? I don't. Like, that. I don't. So, I don't want you to do that. I want you to have hair on your head and I want the hair that's coming out of your scalp to be healthy and I want it wherever you want it. You want it waist length, you want it at your knees, you want it at the back of your knees, you want it down at your ankles, whatever you want, baby. I want that for you and I want it to be healthy. So just take away. Don't wash your hair at night. Don't rush when you're washing your hair. And if you have to touch your hair in your scalp, please make sure that you wash these digits okay wash your digits um i wanted to say thank you so much for subscribing that's all i have today so if you haven't subscribed hit that button boom 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 boom
<laughs> hit that button. Um, if you have any questions, if you have any comments, if you have any advice, um, let me know in the comments below. And uh, I'm going to be taking a couple classes so that I can kind of give you some really good knowledge on the health of your scalp, healthy scalp. Like that's like my, my next mission. I'll be on some missions. So I'll be doing plenty of research on that. So if you have any questions about it, please write, uh, you know, put them in the comments below. I will be looking them up for you. If you have any, um, anything to add that I may have missed, please do that as well. I, I love this form and I love that we can kind of talk back and forth about this. Uh, and that's it. If there's nothing else love your locks love god and i'll see you what day is it wednesday